If you're new to electrical control and automation systems and perhaps you're looking to land a position as a design engineer or perhaps you're looking to take on the specifying and design stage as a business owner and what I'm about to say is just a word of warning based on my 20 years of engineering experience and learning from my own mistakes as I've progressed my skill set but jumping straight into control system design is going to be extremely difficult. You see specifying design is really where you begin to understand why systems are designed the way they are and to get to that level of why understanding you need to understand the what and the how first and being at this stage where you do understand the why is where you're getting into the advanced engineering skill set with much more responsibility on your shoulders so it's essential in my opinion that you do understand the what and the how beforehand to enable you to really grasp the why and specifying and design is the fourth step that I recommend individuals and businesses take when progressing on the path into becoming electrical control and automation specialists with step one being system schematics, step two being panel building and wiring and step three being system testing, fault finding and commissioning. And if you wanted free training in all of these areas to give you that solid foundation before you tackle system design then I recommend joining our community where we have multiple training programs offer live coaching calls and have a collection of experts who are available to offer guidance to new people if you're relatively new to the industry and you can find the link in the description. So just coming back to control system design and this skill set is such a valuable skill set to have and can provide people especially in this day and age of remote working huge amounts of freedom and flexibility and actually is probably one of the highest paying positions in the industry and I'll talk you through some of these benefits in a second but before I do that I just wanted to highlight the key reason as to why beginners should not start with electrical system design and the impact it can have if they do and that reason is that they have no conceptual understanding so they might have some sort of idea of how a system might be put together if they've got a small amount of experience and understanding but they probably don't know what works and why things should be designed in a certain way for real world projects so really it ends up being a bad system design which then translates into a bad system which then means that either things are extended and things take more time and need to be rectified when doing testing and whatnot in the workshop or perhaps the system's getting sent straight to site which then means on-site modifications and site time anyone that's been in the industry for a while knows that that is the most expensive time because it's really unproductive most of the time you've got to wait for people people in your way you can't access things etc so that just prolongs the delivery of the project and let's say that you do get it commissioned and up and running there might be things that have been missed or haven't been thought of because you don't have that understanding of why it should be done the way it is which then ultimately leads to unhappy customers which if you're an employee then leads to unhappy bosses and then ultimately this all leads to a lot of stress anxiety unhappiness all round and in the long run it's just not really worth it and it can be a little bit confusing because when you think of specifying and design this is the first stage in a project delivery so it's easy to think that this is kind of the first thing that you should approach when learning the whole process of a project you know we first do the specifying then we do the design and documentation then we build and wire the control panel then we test it commission it fault find it but even though chronologically specifying and design is the first thing when we're learning it can't be that first thing because we don't have like I mentioned earlier a good enough conceptual understanding to understand why things need to be designed and specified in the way that they should so this is why I recommend specifying and design to be the fourth step after system schematics after after panel building and wiring and after testing and fault finding. Now let's get into those benefits that I mentioned earlier when you do have this skill set under your belt. And now because we're lucky enough to live in this modern age and be able to utilize the internet, this allows us as design engineers to really work remotely and from wherever we like, you know, whether that's at home, whether that's in an office, perhaps we're traveling and we can just work from our laptop really wherever we are and provide that design and documentation 
location work. We don't really ever need to be on site. So huge amounts of freedom and flexibility. And also electrical design really can be applied across any industry, any sector, because it's ultimately the same thing no matter what sector you're in. You know, if it's pharmaceutical sector, if it's commercial BMS, if it's automotive, if it's Amazon warehouses, if it's smart homes, it's all the same electrical control principles. Now the next benefit of having this skill set is that design engineers typically are on the higher end of the spectrum when it comes to pay across roles uh, within these industries. So yeah, more money, generally speaking, but that's because you're taking on higher levels of responsibility, making sure that things are specified and designed and fit for purpose, as well as producing documentation that's to a professional standard and able for people on site and customers to read and interpret. And then the other thing is also career development. So once you get to this level of understanding how to specify and design and you're taking on more responsibility and you're capable of doing that that usually opens you up to progressing into project management positions senior leadership positions and where you have engineers or technicians working under you and having this skill set is really where you're starting to move away from the intermediate level into the advanced level of engineering and remember if you're looking for free training in all of the areas before taking on electrical design then I recommend joining our our community where we have multiple training programs offer live coaching tools and have a collection of experts who are always available to offer guidance to new people and you can find the link in the description i'll see you on the next video